Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Butler Bulldogs. Number four is possesses the maturity as a senior leader and allows his team to feed off of it. Teams need up a classman like him to pick them up when the chips are down. The Bulldogs will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Bulldogs might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. Lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams looking to get things going here. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He gets it to go. They'll work it around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Trying to feed the low block for the bucket. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. How about an instant replay? the shot turn around jumper nothing but nylon nice smooth turn around jumper the only negative he's falling away if he misses he's got no rebound in the building Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot that's good let's take a look right here the low block takes the pass in the paint great pressure great double team really explosive showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup die handles the pass that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot nice high post screen he takes the shot from the baseline Minnesota have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He blocks the shot. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He's got an open look for the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets today. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Now trying to feed the low block. There's the trap. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Down inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He keeps the dribble as they reset. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block.
I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Here they come with a double team to stop it. Steals the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. Working it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. It's stolen. Time to pick up the defense here now. Picks off the lazy pass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Great shot block right there. Andrew, good movement on the offensive side. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains it. He'll regroup the offense. Defense giving some room. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Simpson handles the feed. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Great anticipation defensively. Irvin receives the pass for two. Buried it. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Number 32 with the steal. Gave it up. Number 32 receives the ball. Oh, that basketball. Stolen ball. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Trying to pack it inside. Let's it fly. Makes it. The Golden Gophers have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Here's a double team. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Inside. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There's a double team waiting there. He takes it away. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Good job defensively. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
The shooting guard takes the pass in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. From downtown. Got it. it around the yard. The point guard takes the feed. He pump fakes. He puts it up. Minnesota have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Number 32. Slowly performance has just gotten in his head. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. Defense has really stepped up. They're taking over the tempo very nicely. and pop. He hits it. Inside. Double team now. Bad angle. He strokes it. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The skip pass is picked off. Pushes it up. Steals a pass. The point guard takes the pass. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He rejects it. The frustration right there. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. There was no doubt about that one. Power forward with the ball. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Them inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art feeding the post. The center gets the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. The power forward gets the pass. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax. Play your game. He you can't do this alone, Brad. Turns it over. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
The student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And again, they look to run. Slam jam, man, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. Three. Minnesota is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. With a bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Too many dribbles and a steal. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up. Nine. Makes a great move. Basket and the foul. Big time opportunity for the senior leader, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They're playing some great basketball at the moment. Good. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. He shows the sweet touch. Jumped in front to take it away. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Looking for contact. Minnesota are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work the perimeter. He clears some space with a fadeaway. Off the rim and no good. They work it back to the outside. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. With that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got some room from three-point range. Ten on the shot clock. Drops the bucket despite the harm.
takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He's got some room. For two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes for the ball handler. He puts up the three ball. Goes. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. Takes the pass in the paint. Controlling the ball. Steal. And coming the other way on a break. Shoots from downtown. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Dickey's simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Attempts the three, way off target. Two for one opportunity. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Gets it back out. They'll work it around the arc. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. against it. He drains the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh yes. Throws up the prayer. Scorches the net. First half, the Golden Gophers lead by 14. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Butler had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. And he'll kick it back outside. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from right of the circle. He misses from downtown. There was no doubt about that one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. This is what posters are made from. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He makes the block. What an unbelievable play. Rotating over. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Number 32 is called for the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Free throw line. Opportunity. Makes the first. And he got them both. The Golden Gophers are up by 21. Working it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And it takes some pride on the defensive end. Married it. Let's slow it down on the replay. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. From way outside, the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For two, perfectly executed. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul there. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Look at that spacing. 
the fake. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Up, easy one. That's a nice looking play right here. Tries the three ball. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. Picked out of the air. On the outside, number four is receiving lots of love from the crowd. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Outside. Adam in the paint. Rejects it. Gets the rejection. Butler are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they better keep pushing and see if they can't force a timeout. Now they work it around the perimeter. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's a double team. He takes a three. Way off target. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. With the fake. He lets it go. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Dumps it in. Picks off the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the arc. With a bucket. Perfectly executed. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He pulls the trigger off the rim and no good. He tries the three. The romp is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals a pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He takes it away. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Try 
strikes for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. the perimeter with a long bomb. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Number 32, modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. In motion, he couldn't be much lower, I don't think. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see this, Brad. I feel for him. Momentary look from three-point land. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. Puts it up, looking for contact. Inside. Gave it up. Kicks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Makes it. Paint. There's a double team waiting there for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. Nice fake. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Entry pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. There's the screen up on top. The lane. The Bulldogs are trailing by 14. With a little baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And he tries to spin away from the... He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. That was nice. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Tries for two and off the mark. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the circle. He missed. That's basic. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. For two, basket falls despite the contact. The defense senses a five-second call. Intercepted. The small forward takes the feed. Takes away the pass. Wow, what hop, baby, what hop. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking for a good shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. He's out of control, baby, out of control. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's thrown soul in the room. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Outside. From right in the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. He's got a nice shot fake. Number 13 with the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Transition opportunity coming up. Minnesota are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. 
Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestle. Richard picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, man, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo of the game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Picked off. They work it around the perimeter. It's stolen. They run it up into transition. Dick, what do you make of this crowd here tonight? Well, I think they're really a quiet crowd. I thought they'd be a lot more alive. I can't believe they're sitting on their hands. For the bucket, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Pushes it up. Picked out of the air. Two, rims out. Gave it up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Steals the pass. He throws it up from downtown. He drains the shot. Take a look at this. Just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing but nylon, NBA. shot no problem so far at the free throw line tonight dick well they're making the most of the free ones the three he gets the shot to fall the ball goes out of bounds Turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like oh, yeah. Butler couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. They'll be disappointed to come up short to such an evenly matched team. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.